Hey everybody, it's Kyle. Welcome to another Adobe Express drawing exercise. Today, we're going to the beach. Let's check it out. To begin, we're going to select a blue color for our sky. And then we're going to use the custom sliders here and choose custom. I'm going to make this color lighter by pulling upwards and then moving to the left about here. Then with my hard round brush, I'm just going to make it really big and paint to fill in the entire canvas like this. Now let's use this blue color that we originally selected with the soft round brush here. I think I'll make the brush a little bit bigger, a little bit about halfway from the beginning of the slider to the end right here. And now I'll just paint up here at the top. And you'll see now that I've created a darker blue leading to a lighter blue. If you want to pass over it a couple of more times, you can do that. But you want to leave most of the sky the lighter blue color. All right, now we're going to paint some sand. We'll use the cheesy brush right here. Make it a little bit bigger. And starting a little bit above halfway from the bottom of our canvas, I'm just going to paint wavy lines like this and then go back in the other direction and back once more and again. Every time I paint a new line, I overlap the original line that came before it. You don't have to go all the way down to the bottom because next we're going to paint some water. To do that, we need to look at all of our multicolor brushes. So let's view all and we'll select this one. It's called Spiked. Go back to the main menu and you can adjust the size to be something in the first, mm, I would say, half of your slider. And starting from the very bottom, Similar to what we've just done, paint across. Notice how I'm overlapping with every stroke. Don't leave any open spots. Fill everything in. Make sure you paint from side to side. You can make wavy lines if you want, but don't paint up and down. And when you do paint, go all the way from one side of the canvas to the other, like this. All right, I've left enough sand and I have a good amount of water. The next thing I wanna do is add some foam. And to do that, we're going to use the art supplies. Let's view all and select this brush. It's called Photocopy Line. Back we go to the main menu. We'll adjust the brush. I'm making it pretty big. And we're selecting white. When you paint back and forth with this brush, you can create some foam right along the top edge of the water, like so. You can add little bits here and there to make it a little bit irregular, which is more fun and a bit more natural. Great. And now for a palm tree, we'll use this brush. It's called chalk here in the art supplies. For the color, I'm going to start with this orange and once again, open up our custom colors, move down and to the left. So we have a nice deep dark brown color that isn't too saturated. We'll make the size of the brush somewhere around 60 or 70. Near the top of the sand and over here on the left side, I'm just going to start painting up and to the right and then trace back over what I drew. And that gives us a nice tree trunk. We need some palm fronds. To paint those, we'll open the decorative category here. I'll select view all. There are a lot of brushes, but my favorite for palm fronds is this one. 
It's called Elegant Vine. Let's select that. Come back here and select the green color. Now this is too bright, so what we'll do is open up our custom sliders again and move down this way. I'm going to make the brush a little smaller, maybe about 150 or 200, something like that. And I'm going to paint what are called C-curves. Up we go, and then see how it looks like a backwards letter C, and another letter C, always starting from the top, moving up and then down with a nice curve. Then I'll trace back over what I've already painted. And what this does is make your palm fronds a little bit more dense, more full. See that? If you want some coconuts, use the hard round brush. And I think this orange color works well. And just tap wherever you want some coconuts. All right, we're going to add some plants here. Once again, in the multicolor brushes, we have an option called Leafy. With the Leafy brush, I'm going to paint near the top of the sand, all the way from one side to the other, like this, and then back again. I want to make sure I cover the entire trunk of the tree. Some parts can go a little higher than others to make it more interesting. And if you want, you can even paint some plants creeping in from the left like this. Using the hard round brush and the color white, I'll make my brush a little bigger. And at the very top, I'm just going to paint some bumpy lines like this and fill those in. And now you have a cloud shape. You could also paint one up here in this corner. Select the yellow. And you can use a medium sized brush for this. And simply tap to add a sun. Now for our hero character. Select this red color. Make your brush smaller, maybe somewhere around 120 pixels. And right here, just tap. Make your brush smaller. Look at the center of the circle and move to the left. Tap once. And then to the right, tap again. I'll make my brush even smaller still. And then draw lines to connect the eyes to the body. We're drawing a crab. Making my brush even smaller, I'll select white and tap in the center here and there. Change the color back to red and draw a leg. Do the same thing on the other side. Another one. And then a curved line and a curved line that's longer. And then here I do a nice letter C and color it in and then draw a little line. And here I do a backwards letter C that's much bigger, color that in and draw another line. I'll make my brush teeny tiny and draw a little smile. The last finishing touch, I'll use this blue Make the blue a little darker. And draw a few birds in the sky. You can add anything you want to your drawing. Some fish, some surfers, a beach ball. It's your drawing. You can customize it and make it unique. So thanks for joining me. And I'll see you again next time for another Adobe Express drawing exercise.